Configuring Server Monitoring Once you've defined the workload for your test and you've assigned agents to deliver your test's workload, it's time to configure your test's monitoring settings. In this process, you'll define how Performance Explorer, the Silk Performer Server Monitoring Tool, is to monitor local and remote servers included in your test. Server monitoring reveals, locates, and assists in resolving server bottlenecks, allowing you to examine the performance of operating systems and application servers. To begin, click the Configure Monitoring button on the workflow bar. The Workflow Configure Monitoring dialog box offers the following options for server monitoring. Use default monitoring. This option directs Performance Explorer to monitor a recommended set of data sources based on the application type under test. Use custom monitoring. This option opens Performance Explorer in monitoring mode with the Data Source Wizard Select Data Sources dialog box open, enabling you to manually configure data sources. This is the approach that we'll explore in detail in this video. And finally, there's the no monitoring option. This option enables you to run your tests without monitoring of any local or remote servers. For the purposes of this tutorial, click Use Custom Monitoring. And immediately, Silk Performance Explorer opens. Now you'll adjust the data sources that Performance Explorer will monitor during your test to gain additional insight into server performance, which for the purposes of this tutorial will be your local host. On the Data Source Wizard dialog box, select the Select from Defined Data Sources option button to select available data sources. Click Next. The wizard displays the data sources that are available on the server, in this case the local host on your local machine. Select Operating System Data, then select your operating system. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll select Windows 7, System Perfmon. This operating system data will be helpful in determining how the local host behaves when the tested application is under load. For example, memory consumption, CPU usage, and pages per second. Click Next. On this page, you'd enter any connection parameters that were required to access the data source. However, because we're working with a local host in this example, username and password aren't required, so click Next. In the Measures menu tree on the Select Displayed Measures dialog box, browse to and select Local Host System to select a basic set of server-side measures, including pages per second, processor time, and physical disk measures. Click Finish. A color-coded monitor graph then appears in Silk Performance Explorer, displaying the selected system measurements in real time. And although we're not even running a test at this point, you can see that we're already starting to pick up some system measurements. Beneath the graph is the list of included elements, pages per second, available bytes, and more. A color coding key helps you identify performance information for each element in the graph. As you can see, as you select various measurements down here, the corresponding color coded lines are highlighted in the graph above. Now that you've configured server monitoring for your test, it's time to return to Silk Performer. Before you do though, make sure that the right monitor data option has been enabled. Click Next to advance the Workflow Workload Configuration dialog box. And you're now ready to run your load tests, which will be covered in depth in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.